Hi, this is Dr. Motzko, and this is a video to explore the FET simulation uh, on greenhouse effect. Uh, so first, what I'm going to do is we have flashlight here. Uh, we can start with these infrared photons. Um, it's coming in with these red lights, or red glowy circles. And we have a molecule here. This is methane, CH4, to start off with. And you can see um, some of them bypass it and some of them make it shake. We can jump to some other molecules such as CO2. Again, we see some of the infrared makes it shake. Uh, water, again, shakes a little bit sometimes, actually a lot of times. Uh, N2, so this is nitrogen gas, uh, no reaction at all. Now let's do O2, oxygen gas. Again, no reaction at all. Let's move on to our visible photon. So this is showing us yellow, but green, uh, whatever. So visible light instead. Nothing is re reacting with oxygen. Uh, with the nitrogen, again, no reaction. Let's see, water, no reaction, no response at all. CO2, also no response. CH4, uh, also no response. So interestingly, it's only responding uh, to infrared, right? These molecules are only kind of absorbing and re-releasing uh, infrared, and only three of the ones that I showed here uh, have, have responded. If you'd like, you could build your whole uh, mixed atmosphere and Turn this on, and you can see how all this infrared light is starting to go all kinds of di different directions. All right, the other tab in here is the greenhouse effect. All right, so we can show what do we have? It says, look, uh, consider this atmosphere to be today, uh, and it tells you what today's atmosphere is: seventy percent relative humidity, humidity, and it has certain CO two, CH four, and N two O greenhouse gas competitions um, and we have a temperature over here this is showing a place that's around 59 degrees um, let's see what happens if we change the atmosphere to what it was at seven in 1750 AD uh, you can see all these infrared lights I'm gonna let's see so our satellite disappears our houses disappear um, and we do see um, let's see, it's about the same. It's getting a little bit colder, actually. You can see the temperature is falling. There we go. Because a lot of these infrared uh, photons are reflecting back. If we go back to the ice age, uh, temperature is falling rapidly. Uh, we don't know what the humidity was like, uh, but our greenhouse gases were significantly less. Uh, let's just do an adjustable concentration. I think it's going to be uh, easier to picture, right? So lots. So this is far more greenhouse gases than what we have today. Now we find that a lot of these infrared, infrared photons that would be reflecting are actually getting stuck up here and it's getting hotter and slowly getting hotter and hotter. I know, 64 actually sounds like a nice temperature right now. <laughs> but um, if we decrease the greenhouse gas concentration, uh, we can uh, bring the temperature starts coming back down. And if there's no greenhouse gas concentration at all, uh, you see all of the infrared photons are just reflecting back nicely and it is getting very, very cold very fast. Um, so the greenhouse gases have a significant effect um, on the temperature of uh, on Earth and atmosphere. And I'll just bring up the greenhouse gases again, just so we can see it more clearly. Do Ice Age, coming up to 1750 AD, that's before industrialization continue to rise and to today just 
so which is continue to rise, and to lots, which is hopefully not our future. Well, all right, I hope you learned something and have enjoyed uh, exploring the simulation and watching and watching it.